Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another unboxing video. The series where I obviously unbox my various streetwear, sneaker and sometimes even jewellery purchases on the channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the Spring Summer 2022 8-ounce Capital Country Great Country Hardball Baseball patchwork jersey that I proxied from Capital using Zen Market. Okay, some of you are probably like, what? <laughs> what do you have here? So I'll break it down for you. So I have the uh, very limited spring summer 2022 Capital Country, basically patchwork denim baseball jersey. So um, it's Capital Country. So instead of it being normal capital, it's the sub label where they hand make them with uh, vintage materials most of the time. And the designs they choose for Capital Country are generally designs from older capital seasons and they rework them with yeah vintage materials, individual washes, uh, things like that. You know, things to make each Capital Country piece special and one of one. Uh, that's essentially the whole idea of the sub-label, from what I know. But bigger Capital fans could correct me in that comment section below. So, uh, yeah, for the Spring-Summer 2022 season, Capital Country uh, did some denim baseball jerseys. Or I should say some just baseball jerseys in general, because one of them was linen. Uh, and what they did is they only offered them for about a week and a half on their online store. And they offered them in such limited quantities that if they sold out before the timer, uh, you know, rang out, then they would just remove the listing from the online store. Um, as I kind of alluded to, the baseball jersey came in a couple different offerings. It came in a, like a, I don't want to say brown, but I don't want to say white. It was kind of like a very light coffee colored um, linen with a very soft green outline for the for the baseball jersey and the lettering was all in that soft green as well then it came in a second variation where it was all denim eight ounce super lightweight um, very capital looking because of its denim and then it came in a third and final tier this is going up in price as well each time the final tier, which was the patchwork denim version. And I kind of sat on it when I saw it being listed on their online store. I was like, yo, either three of those would be an awesome overshirt to wear in this coming spring summer season for me in Australia. But um, I was like, oh, which one do I want? Do I want the cheapest linen one just because you know it's cheapest i like the design I, you know it could be quite easy an easy pick up there uh do i want the old denim one because the old denim one screams uh more capital-esque because of its use of denim and everything like that or do i want the patchwork one which is denim and cotton and different materials because that really really screams capital I was a little unsure. I was like, I'm happy with any three of the options. I don't know which I'm which one I'm certain on. So I sent all three recommendations to my friend Madison, uh, my friend Eli, which you've seen on the vlog before on the channel. And I was like, guys, help me out. Madison, she advised me. She's like, look, you're gonna hate yourself if you just get the denim one because you know you'd want the patchwork one ignore the linen one completely and i was like damn okay okay you're right <laughs> then i hit and then eli responded as well he's like look man same deal same deal i agree you, you, the denim one is sick but you're gonna hate yourself if you don't get the patchwork one and i was like ah oh, they, they know me too well they know exactly what i'm thinking <laughs> Like I need the patchwork one in my life because I pondered it for so long. The biggest size in the patchwork option sold out. And I was like, oh no, I wanted the size four man. Cause it was going to be super, super oversized. It was going to look really nice. Going to be really flowy, eight ounce, it was going to be perfect. I had to go with the second size, which was the size three, but that size three was massive looking at the measurements and everything like that. It, you know, I, as much as I wanted the four, which was like two centimeters wider and longer, 
the size three would, should, by measurements, fit me quite comfortably. Like I shouldn't have any issues with it, but ideally would have wanted the size four, but that's okay. So I've got the size three here, the patchwork denim version, the most expensive one. Cause as my friends advised, they were right. They were absolutely right. They know me so well. If I went with the other versions, I know I would have been kicking myself further down the line being like, ah, should have gotten the patchwork one, should have gotten it. So yeah, I managed to pick it up and then literally a day and a half later, it was gone. Like they were all sold out and it's off the website. So look, I'll link you the links down below, uh, the store page links, cause I still have them with, you know, messages to Madison and Eli, but when you open them, it says specific item not available or something like that. So uh, yeah, it's really hard to showcase them. Luckily I saved all the images from that store page before it's sold out. So I do have the images to provide for you guys to showcase it to you. But I mean, quite obviously, I'm going to showcase it to you here. <laughs> so yeah, now that we have this, uh, you know, this Capital Country patchwork denim baseball jersey in hand, let's unbox it guys. Let's have a look at this piece. Okay, let's get into it. Trusty kitchen scissors have come out, but I want to be very careful that I'm not cutting into the actual material itself. Because as I've mentioned a few times in the video already, this piece is an eight ounce. So it's going to be incredibly lightweight, uh, which is perfect. Perfect for summer. We're coming into spring. Uh, well, we're, okay, I was about to say we're coming into, today is the first day of spring in Australia. Um, we're eventually going to get into summer. I'm not going to be able to wear the thick layers that I was wearing uh, in the previous video, in the top five pieces that I was wearing in July. Um, it's just not, it's just not going to happen. It's just going to be way too hot. It's going to be stinking hot in Australia. So pieces like this, a nice little over shirt, I guess, or at least I'm going to be treating it as an over shirt. Um, are going to be perfect for um, yeah this spring summer season and I'm going to be wearing a bunch of my capital pieces this spring summer because you know they're nice 12 8 ounce pieces that are going to be super lightweight if I wear uh, a lot of tank tops I have a lot of black and white tank tops that I've picked up from Uniqlo that I store up in here um, it's just going to work out perfectly like I'm already visualizing it um, I just got to get the pants sex section sorted i'm thinking shorts or like lightweight dress pants but we'll get to that when we get to that i've got the top half covered which is the main part <laughs> i do have some shorts that i could wear so you know that's that's also there as well so we'll get this piece out oh, if i can Ooh, a little bit stuck okay as always they do an amazing job in zen market to keep their packages Nice and wrapped up there. So that one's there. I'll chuck it down here. Oh, I can see, I can see country on one side. Okay. So of course, shout out to Zen Market. I would have never been able to buy this piece at retail without them because I can't buy from Capital's online store. They don't ship overseas. So without these guys, this wouldn't even have been possible. So I will always praise Zen Market. They do a fantastic job. If you want to buy things inside of Japan and ship it overseas, they are the people to go to. Unless, of course, you have a mate that lives in Japan, but like, come on, who has that? Who has the plug? <laughs> if so, I'm hitting them up because I want to pay even cheaper shipping. <laughs> but yeah, okay, let's get into this and get this open. Righty o. So, what I really liked about it uh, with the denim patchwork one was the wash on the denim. Super, super faded, washed out look. It wasn't really dark denim. Um, yeah, okay, so, look at that, look, there we go, look, I'll, I'll showcase it to, oh, the best I can, capital, country, what does it say, all in-house, washed and dyed, Japan made, true country mark, I love that, it, ah, you know, it feels like, yeah, I love that, so good, okay, there we go, there's also another tag on it, Capital, all in, uh, all in house, all in Japan, garment washing factory. Yeah, I can't imagine the washing cycles they would have had to go on through to get that kind of like that denim wash on it. But I'll get it out of its bag. Let's get it out of its bag and actually like have a look at it. So um, yeah, let's get that done and dusted. Oh, what do you know? Got another bag. It's just bags on bags on bags. Okay. Here is another look at it. There it is there. We'll get this open, ah, opened at the top. 
Yeah, um, I would love to pick up more Capital Country that releases in the coming months. Because it's going to be the full winter season from them. And I'd love to see what they are, what Capital Country is doing for their fall winter 2022 season. But anyway, here is the piece. We'll get it undone. Okay. So, <laughs> look how big that is. Damn. So what we have on the front is Great Country Hard 47 Ball uh, done. Uh, see if I can showcase it. Yeah, in these like little felt embroidered pieces to spell it out there. Probably all individually cut out knowing Capital Country. Simple button closure. Very nicely washed denim. I love it how the denim has been washed so it has that really darker line on the outside of it. But then it's really, really light on the inside of it. I wouldn't even know how you make it have an effect like that. That's really well thought out. Uh, it's got some nice stitching across there. I love the very like patchwork like collar. You can see it there, kind of done with various different types of denim. Um, some of the denim down here, I think some of it is either just like cotton t-shirts, but I think it's all, it might actually just be all denim. We've got some white down here, obviously. Uh, on the back, we can kind of see more of the patchwork effect with different colors of stitching and whatnot. I love it. I think it's great. Let's see if we can get this tag out so I can have that one there. Because I, I haven't actually um, gotten one of these tags before from Capital Country, so I'll see what it has to say. Okay. Country. I mean, that's just a nice little tag. Okay, well, look, there's all the other little, little Capital tags that it comes with. The, the classic ones, you know, handle with care portion etc etc i have absolutely no idea what that says so if anyone speaks uh japanese anyone knows the japanese language please comment section below let us know what this means i'll try and get it to focus as much as possible so uh you can actually read it pretty clearly oh geez okay that actually just did the polar opposite <laughs> we'll get it up there so you guys can read it would love to know what that says absolutely no idea myself and there's obviously the cool little card there, which I actually really like that design. Cool little, there we go, bam. Okay, let's get this undone and showcase some tags. If for an example, this piece was ever to be duped and you guys want to legit check it for, uh, if you see one on gray old or whatever, let's get this done. Uh, there's no lining to it. It's purely just, you know, denim as we can see here, bam, bam, bam. Here's the tags down here. 100% cotton, 100% polyester, other fabric, 100% cotton. There we go. And it should have, yep, a three on it. So as I mentioned before, I missed out on the size four, which would have been an extra large, but we have the size three large. Here's one of the tags. There's the back of said tag. But uh, yeah, in case anyone needed to legit check it. But it is really, really light. It's going to work really well as an overshirt. Here is the piece unboxed, guys. Uh, I'll showcase it on body now so you guys can have a look how it looks on body. Let's see how it looks. Okay, guys. So, here we are. <laughs> I mean, uh, the problem is, is I'm wearing a black shirt with black pants, so it's not giving you a good contrast of how well this actually fits. But, I mean, to put it into comparison, right, this is the smaller size that it came in, the size 3. The size 4 was 2 centimeters longer, 2 centimeters wider. Um, I am 6'5", 115 kilos. I actually weighed myself on 114. <laughs> but, you know, weight fluctuates, so I don't want to set that. But, yeah, like, you know, and I have... I like a shoulder width of, like, 50 centimeters. Um, I like a torso width of, like, six, 26 to 27 inches, which is something centimeters. Uh, you know, those are some specs. My chest, I normally like around like 120 to 130 centimeters in circumference. So, you know, that gives you guys an idea of like how I like the fit, everything like that. And hopefully that kind of gives you some confidence if you find one of these for sale. Um, I think, you know, a three or a four is going to fit you very, very well. 
um, if you're like a pretty average build and you're not, you know, I guess super large this way or even taller than me that way. So yeah, I think this will fit very well. Um, it's super lightweight as I've, you know, constantly said like many, many times in this video, it's eight ounce. It's going to be super, super lightweight. There's no lining to it. So, uh, you know, it, it, it is essentially an overshirt, but I mean, obviously the silhouette's a baseball jersey, but it's gonna work so well for summer because you can just chuck it on over the top of a singlet, a tee, uh, a nice vintage tee would work really well with this. Um, I'm gonna wear this with either a white tank top, white t-shirt, and some nice washed out beat up denim. That could be really nice. Or maybe some brown shorts um, in like a, like a wood type of brown, not like the, uh, not like a chino. I, I'm not very good with describing my browns, but if you can kind of get what I mean, like a darker brown instead of a, like a light chino brown, I suppose. But yeah, um, all in all, really love the fit of it. Love its sporty look and having a sport silhouette. It works very well with a lot of the American jackets and American sports jackets I've collected over the years. Uh, works very well with my sneaker collection. Probably gonna wear Converse with it just to like, kind of give off that, that old retro type look because you know, Converse been around for decades. This one is obviously pulling reference from some kind of 1947 baseball jersey here with the number here. So I, I do want to kind of encapsulate that vibe, but yeah, I really love the different washes of denim used on the patchwork. Madison and Eli were totally right in, you know, backing me up saying, you're gonna love the patchwork one. The patchwork one's the way to go. I absolutely agree. Like the different uses of denim materials and stitching, like this like white stitching throughout and the red stitching on the back. It's just awesome little details that's gonna make it a piece that is just, a, yeah, just an awesome piece for summer. I'm gonna be wearing so much capital in summer because it's lightweight very summery. It's just going to work. It's going to work. I had to back myself up by buying a lot of capital this year, this time around, because I was unprepared last summer. So you're probably going to notice in future videos, me buying a lot more capital for summer, because it's just a really nice, fun, summery brand that, um, well, not, not all the time, but it has a lot of nice summer, summer pieces uh, that I'm definitely going to be wearing this year. And I really love this jersey. Um, I'm really glad that I like went through the effort to pick this one up, even though it was limited and only available for a week. Uh, I definitely would have been beating myself up about this, about not picking it up. It's definitely a good pickup. I really like it. Like, very capital. American sportswear, but done in denim, done in patchwork handmade, different denim dyed uh, pieces. Like it just screams capital, right? Like Japanese Americana, like done really, really well. It's, I love it. I love it. Just, that's what I'm trying to express. I love this piece. Awesome. Not an ideal outfit to wear it with. I'm gonna wear it with something very different, but it is very nice. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, are you not a fan of American sportswear? Japanese Americana, Americana, let me know how you feel. Or did you pick up the other variations of this? Did you pick up the completely denim version? Did you pick up the linen version? Uh, I'd love to hear if you did or if you like this version. Uh, let me know down in that comment section below. Well, there it is guys. That's it completely unboxed. Um, I'm, I'm a huge fan. I, I love it. <laughs> no complaints about it. I mean, not that I probably would actually complain about a capital piece. You know, I, I know what I'm getting into when I'm buying it, so I can't really be disappointed with it. It'd be it'd be hard to find something to be disappointed about when it comes to these, uh, unless maybe like because it's handmade, someone didn't stitch a letter properly and like one of the letters was hanging off or something. But I, I feel like the quality control is very good at capital so something like that just wouldn't happen but yeah um i love the detailing on it um it's an awesome little piece an awesome little conversation starter as well you need those fun funky you know like over over shirts button ups for summer because layering it's basically only for uh very lightweight jackets ideally over shirts and things like that 
because it's just too damn hot. It's just too damn hot. And I, I can definitely feel it like, what I really like is that this is not sticking to my arms. It feels like I've got heaps of room in the sleeves. So I should be set when it comes to summer. Hopefully I'll get lots of wear out of this. Um, but I, as I said, I'm trying to pick up heaps of capital before summer actually comes around because uh, yeah, I want those layers for the summertime. I want, I want my outfits still to be fun not just a t-shirt and shorts <laughs> you know i want some want some spice to it so that's what i'm doing buying this stuff adding a little bit of spice to some summer outfits because that is the area of men's fashion that is generally lacking is uh in the summer wear it's um yeah you're very limited in options compared to women's wear i would say but we've had that conversation before but yeah i'd love to hear your thoughts on this piece guys are you a fan of it would you rather just buy a normal baseball jersey? Do you like this capital version of it where they've grabbed like a mid 20th century uh, one and well, yeah, mid 20th century and then um, just like made it out of denim, done all these details. Do you like that or do you prefer a basic one? I'd love to hear anything you have to say about it down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep unboxing various capital pieces, picking up more capital pieces, you need to let me know. You need to let me know <laughs> in that comment section below. But I mean, of course, you know, give me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator of them all, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, last month, we tried to hit the subscriber milestone of 3,425 subscribers. That would get us to update the little subscriber milestone that we have here. Um, we are very close. We, we got up to 3,420 last month. We needed five more. Uh, hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone. Now, in the new month of uh, September, Let's see if we can do it. Well, that's all I've got to say about this piece, guys. Um, I'll answer any questions you have about it in that comment section below. But very happy that uh, during that week that this was available, I went through and picked it up because it's an awesome little over shirt that I'm going to be wearing uh, in the summertime. It'll have to be, I mean, maybe I'll break it out in spring. It'll have to be a hot spring day, though. And there'll probably be a couple of those. We'll have to see, guys. Anyway, until the next capital video until the next streetwear talk video until the next unboxing video i'll catch you later